Welcome. David and I have been best friends since as long as I can remember. Um, we've both been really, really, really into arts and crafts as kids. As we got older, we used art as a means of putting our feelings down, so to speak. Um, we'd spent hours on a piece alone, and honestly, it was like the best time of our lives. So naturally, we both signed and decided to get ourselves an art studio. About three weeks ago, he got in an accident at a party where he hit his head really, really, really hard and essentially lost most of his memory. Um, but according to his parents, it wasn't as bad as people thought it was. I mean, he remembered his cousin, he mistaken his dad for his uncle. Um, but slowly but surely, things were starting to creep back up. Doctors say that he's out of the loop, that's all. Uh, I haven't seen him since, like, three days before the accident. It doesn't really matter anyways. I mean, like, our bond is so special that, like, it even transcends memory loss, I guess. I don't know. They say he's fine, so I'm assuming he's okay. And, like, when we, we bond back, like, everything's gonna be fine. And, best buds again. That's that's my optimism. That's what I'm hoping for. Seeing him like that hurt. Seeing him like that genuinely hurt. I thought that maybe, maybe it would have been okay, that we would have been fine, but seeing him like that really, really hurt. Uh, when we bought it, I think I spent the night here. Then you came to check up on me the next morning to see if I was actually going to do it. I did. It was very cold. The sadness of the situation hits harder than the person that he was meant for. I thought everything was fine, everything was dandy, he's being taken care of, but our friendship is okay. He's remembering things now, right? feel horrible for that because how would he feel if I didn't feel anything towards that Yeah, it was very 
Thanks, Gideon. Thank you. you know, you said that he was okay. The doctor said that he was okay. So I assume, oh, okay. I know he's gone, but my brain doesn't doesn't want to believe that. That there's some hope that the essence of him is somewhere. I agree that patient. Doctor said I'd see the last of him tomorrow. There's no reason for him to be back. I haven't spoke to him him in a long time. And yet. I can't bear to see him like that. Me and David were supposed to meet the other. He sent me some text messages. I don't know if it was someone else who did it for him or if he wrote it himself. It didn't really matter to me. On the chance that he was back, I had to check. So. Naturally, I progressed my way to our usual spot that we meet, and I waited. This is really you, right? Yeah, who else would it be, dude? It was really, really, really good talking to him again. It was like nothing happened. actually happened. Of course, yeah, I meant that. Glad you're back. Give me a second. Okay. It was really weird because he brought a camera. And like, I know his sister owns a camera, but why did he bring it with him? I have, uh, I have yeah, no clue. Good. But he was really focused on what pictures to take. And like, I don't see it. I don't really get it. You know, speaking of the studio, we're gonna have to make flyers, we're gonna have to advertise the studio to get people to come. And then maybe maybe we could get like something on the newspaper that can advertise it too. But but John, yeah, yeah. about that. I just don't know if I still wanna be part of the studio. Like, not that I don't want to be part of it, but I just don't have the same appeal as I used to for painting. And I've kind of just felt more creative and attached to photography now. What did he just say? That the thing that made us us suddenly didn't matter to him? I didn't know how to react. Hey, wait. What if... What if we added another program to the studio. Not not just make it art for painting, but art for photography, maybe. Wouldn't that be a lot to do if you just switch it up? Now? Listen, man, if I'm opening a studio by myself, I don't think I'd have as much fun if I didn't open it with you. Would that be the entire point was to own a business where people can express themselves together. Me and you, that's how we got into it. So not having you there would kind of feel like this. I think I need Do I think that today was a hard day? Yeah, of course. Like I knew that a thousand percent. I didn't even know if he's gonna show up or not. But one thing is for certain, I am quite interested in where things are going now. So, uh, 